Tommy Godwin loved to get out on his bike in all weathers, and today, as the rain fell just outside Solihull, he'd have been delighted to see one keen cyclist had arrived on two wheels to pay his last respects. Tommy's such a great cyclist and for Birmingham and the country, and he's left a real legacy which the likes of Chris Hoy are all benefiting from. So it seemed appropriate to actually make the effort and cycle here. And this is why Phil and hundreds like him turned out in force today. Coming into the last lap, and London rider Walker looks a winner all the way, but Tommy Godwin, number seven, has a sprint still left in the bag. Here it comes, and it wins him the race. It was London 1948, and Tommy was on top form to win not one, but two bronze medals for Britain. And today, almost 65 years after his Olympic success, it's standing room only inside Knoll Parish Church, as so many family and friends come to celebrate Tommy Godwin's remarkable life. Tommy was born in Connecticut, rather fittingly on the 5th of November, fireworks night. Mick Bennett was one of Tommy's protégés, another Birmingham cyclist who won Olympic medals. So many stories, so many happy memories, like the time Tommy, aged 14, got a job as an errand boy on his bike, surely the first occasion when fast food came to Birmingham. But it was the London Olympics 2012 that made Tommy's life complete. So proud to be a torchbearer amongst friends in Solihull, not to mention an ambassador for the Games as well. An amazing character, full of charisma. And when Tommy told you to do a fast lap on the track, by God, you had to do a fast lap, because if you didn't, he'd know about it. I think Tommy's contribution to British cycling has been immense. His passion was uncontrollable. And if you got him talking about cycling, you could never stop him, because he just loved it. Tommy Godwin was much loved by so many, and no one will ever forget his tireless zest for life, both on and off his bicycle. Ian Winter, BBC Midlands Today, at Knoll Parish Church.